and I, uh, it's a pleasure to be here among the Rabbanim and uh, you know, it's very hard to speak about one's mother. I spoke about this uh, by the memorial, by the Shiva, that when it comes to giving a speech, you take a topic, you elaborate about it, and you try to make uh, people good about it. But when it comes to your own mother, you know, as much as you think, and you try to put the good words, what should I say, what should I not say? How to say it, to fulfill, you know, the mitzvah of kibbut avem, in the end, is something that is impossible. We cannot do the best job. So, Bezad Hashem, may Hashem help me, I put together some Divre Torah that it should be a zechut for Yui Nishmata. So, our Chachamim teach us in, uh, in Derech Hashem, Harav Chaim Losato, Harav Shalom, Harav Moshe Chaim Losato, Ram Chal, teaches us in Derech uh, Hashem that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is good and he wants to do be, uh, good to us. He's so mati. He wants to bestow good to us. That's why HaKadosh Baruch Hu created this world, this olam that we live in. In the beginning, all the neshamot were supposed to be in Adam HaRishon. Adam HaRishon hosted all the neshamot that had to come to this world. And he had a mitzvah that he had to fulfill. The mitzvah was not to eat from Es Adar. Right? He had to listen to it. But unfortunately he made a mistake. And the whole creation changed. But now you have to go through 613 mitzvot. You have all the challenges that we need to overcome in order to get to Chaye Olam Abba. To Chaye Emet. So the challenge is a very hard one. And in the beginning we see that this challenge right, revealed itself in a way that is something we see is a representative of Hashem, that is the representative of Hashem is father and mother. Kibbut Abayim is the mitzvah that connects the first luchot to the second luchot. The first luchot are the mitzvot Adam Lemagom. The mitzvot between a Yehudi and a Kodesh Baruch Hu, Hashem. The second luchot are the mitzvot Adam Lechavero. That is a friend to his other fellow Jews. And what is connecting them is the kibbut Avehem. Is the kibbut Avicha Vemecha. That is the hardest mitzvah. It's the hardest mitzvah. So much so that our uh, Chachamim teach us, Yisrael Yosef Shalita brings it in his uh, Sefer, Yaakov Yosef, that our Chachamim teach us, how come we don't say Beracha over the mitzvah of Kibbut Aven? This is such an important mitzvah. Right? Why shouldn't we say Beracha? Right? Lechora, it makes sense that a person should say Beracha right before he wants to serve his father, right before he wants to serve his mother. But we don't do that, the halacha. The halacha is we do not say a blessing over respecting our parents. So he goes on to explain because this is a mitzvah that you cannot fulfill it 100%. It's impossible. Impossible. As much as you try your best, right? You cannot fulfill the mitzvah of kibbut avem 100%. So the beracha that you come to say, it might become a beracha levatala. And he goes on to say the first example that he brings, it's a wonderful story about Rabbi Tarfon. That Rabbi Tarfon, he used to come to Beit Midrash. And he used to be proud of himself. In a way, he used to be 
שהשתבח בעצמו על שהיה מכבד את אמו. His pride was, I respect my, father, my mother, that I have to would end. So, Gemara goes on to explain what did he do, what was so special about his deeds and his acts that he was proud of it. And obviously, when the Gemara talks about it, that he was proud of it, uh, he was not trying to show off. He was trying to teach his Talmidim that the Mitzvah of Kibbut Abraham, and in his case, Kibbut, Kibbut M, the respecting of mother is so special. And look, this is what I'm doing. What he used to do, he used, he used to put his hand on the floor and, and that his mother should step on, uh, on his palm. Right? Again, he used to put his hand on the floor that uh, his mother should uh, put her feet right, step by step right, as she was walking. And now we're not talking about you know, these days that you have you know, stone, you, know, you have asphalt, you have all sorts of you know, clean pathways. Uh, we're talking about the older times, you know, it was muddy, it was full of, you know, rocks, right? And imagine such a big rob would put his hand that his mother should step on it. And that's how, you know, she had to go to places like that. That was his way of giving respect. Now, when I look back and I try to see, you know, I miss the opportunities of Kibbut Abraham, the Kibbut M, especially, you know, my, my, uh, my father did at Marvel Stream, you know, I see I also made a lot of mistakes. Right? It's impossible to do the mitzvah of Kibbut Abraham 100%. Why is that? Very simple, because Parents represent Hashem. There was an expression in Iran, in Farsi, they say, Hagi mada pedayel azad raziyan? Azad razi. Khoda azad razi. If your parents right, are satisfied with you, then Hashem is satisfied with you. If we see in the Ten Commandments, in the Aseda that he wrote, that the mitzvah that connects Adam le Maron to Adam le Chavero is the kibbutz of Ben, right there. That comes to tell you that your parents are there to tell you how to respect Hashem. Right? That physically here we need to respect Hashem. Right? Physically they teach you. Look, you got to follow what we tell you. Don't ask why. Just follow what we say. That's, that's the nekuda, the importance of the mitzvah of kibbutz Abayim, that no one can do it 100%. Why? Because there is no way you can respect Hashem 100%. You try your best. You hope for the best. You, you learn Torah, you learn mitzvot, you learn halakha, in order to be a true Ebed Hashem. So then, this thought is the depressing thought. I miss the opportunities. I, I miss all those occasions that I could have listened to my mom without doubting her words, without asking why. But then, today, it came to my mind, and this is Hashkoch you know, Baruch Hashem, I think uh, that HaKadosh Baruch helped me with this was bothering me, you know, I missed the boat, right, my mother, Alea Shalom, passed away so unexpectedly, right, maybe I could have done a better job, maybe I should have, I should have spoken to this doctor, that doctor, you know, reach out to uh, this professional, that professional, but in the end we know, whatever Hashem does is for good, and we are not in charge, we are just the messengers, so, what is the hope? What is there to, to, to know? 
Then, all of a sudden, I was doing the sugya of Mikhbaot. Baruch Hashem been doing in the Kolel Mechanchim, with the Arab Nuriya Zagai Shalita, Baruch Hashem. It came to my mind, this sentence. Mikhve Israel Hashem. I asked him, where is this, where is this uh, Pasuk from? So we looked it up. We find it in Yirmiya. So Yirmiya in the Navi, Yirmiya Navi, in Navi, when he is giving words of Chizuk, right, and also words of rebuke to Am Israel, right, he reminds them, look, Hakodesh Baruch is in charge. Hakodesh Baruch is the Mirve, is the Mirve of you. What is the Mirve? What is the purpose of the Mirve? And this is unbelievable, you know, I've been doing the Sugya of Mikveh, Beli Gaba, there's so many things could go wrong, right? so many things could make a problem, rendering a Mikveh not to be kosher, right? particularly for Nashim, for ladies, right? for men there is a lot of, you know, uh, uh, leniencies, for lot. But now it comes to my our, our mind that if the Mikveh Israel Hashem, Hashem is in charge. And how is that? What is the true meaning of Mikveh? Right? So over here the Mesudat David explains right, that the true meaning of Mikveh is Tirva, hope. Hope. Right? Be hopeful. Be hopeful that you take one step, Hashem takes the rest for you. Hashem is the one who is running the show. Hashem knows what is going on in your mind, what is going on in your heart, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu accepts the Makhshava Tova Kemaseh, the good thought as a good action. Of course, one needs to do is Ishtar Dedut. Of course, one needs to go learn the halachot of Kibbutz Abayim, and I wanna, you know, remind each other. You know, those who are blessed with parents take advantage of it. You know, you know, I be, I, 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 I have spoken in many occasions for uh, giving chizuk for those who lost their parents, and I've been talking about it. But ne, it hits you. When it happens to you, you really come to appreciate your parents when they are not among you physically. But the good news is that Nishama is always there. And the, the good news is, as Arab Ben David always used to say, Nishama is happier in the Olam Haba, in the world to come. Right? Of course, we miss the Nishama. We miss that, uh, that, uh, uh, that beloved one. But then we need to remind ourselves, here is just a temporary reward. It's just a corridor. It's just a hard way. And that comes to remind us how much careful we need to be with our relationship with each other, first and foremost with Hashem, to be honest, right? To follow what Hashem tells us, not to follow what our inner feelings tells us. Or or, uh, or as Harab David Shalita put together so nicely, right? That we need to take out this Hashva of the Goyim. Yisiyat Misraim is happening every second. As Harab Ben David Allah Shalom always used to say, right? He said, Yisiyat Misraim. In the parasha of Shemur says, Ele Bene Israel Hayosim. These are the Bene Israel that they are, they are coming out, out of. Israel, right? Over there. Ele Shemot Bene Israel. Habaa Misraim. Misraim, is that the Pasuk? Habaim Misraim. Habaim Misraim. Why Habaim? This happened already. Habaim, this already happened. Or Ben David Allah Shalom used to say, no, it's happening every second. Every second we need to take our this Hashpa, this influence of Goyim, that we should be focused on Ulam Haba. And not so much in this mundane world. This mundane world, a person is healthy, person is expecting all sorts of hope. All of a sudden, Hashem decides otherwise, the person needs to go back to the source of Hashem. And the person needs to say, the same way that Agudosh Baruch Hu, right, gives, 
it takes. Uh, so this Yirmiya, this Pasuk in the Yirmiya, that Mirve Israel Hashem comes to tell us, Mirve, what really cleanses your Neshama is the hope. Is the hope that you have for Hashem. Is that you try your best, you hope for the best, and one should not allow himself to be down, to be depressed, because that is the weapon of the Yesahara. The Yesahara comes to push you down. You miss the boat. You've been trying, you've been learning this sugiya so much. You're not learning it. It's not going in your head. Right? Your IQ is 7. Is that the lowest? I don't know. Right? Right? It's not, no. Torah t- tells us, you, you work your hardest, then Akhodosh Baruch gives it to you as matana, as gift. So Be'ezat Hashem, Akhodosh Baruch help us that we all be hopeful, right? we all have kikva, right? the, the, the best kikva that we have is the hope that Mashiach is coming. Right? And I was talking to uh, somebody who is very close to Mehubali in SSL and he told me, look, don't, don't be so upset. Tekhiyat Hametim is happening very soon. Right? And all those Neshamot that are not physically among us will come back together. Right? And we all come to serve Hashem. Bezat Hashem bimhera biyamenu with the with the building of Beit Hamikdash, with coming of Mashiach, Sitrenu, Bimerabi Amenu, all the sorrow, all the difficulties will turn to happiness. And we will see, as our Chachamim tell us, all the difficulties that were true, that went through and happened to us, were for our best. We don't see how, we don't see why. Right? It's not for us to ask why and how. It doesn't make sense. You just have to have tirva. You just have to trust that Mirve Israel Hashem, that the Mirve that cleanses your Neshama, that every morning we say, Elokai, Neshama, Shanadadi, Biteora, that Hashem, this is the Neshama that you give me. You make it Taor. How Hashem makes it Taor? Hashem knows how to do it. He makes it, he, he gives it, he puts it in the Mirve. Right? He gives us the hope, and that is the best Mirve. Yes, yeah, Zichra, Zichra Baruch. Amen. So uh, we want to have a uh, Siyom, and after Siyom, Acharon, uh, Acharon Chabib, our Rabbi Tanani Shalita is going to give the Brechizuk and the Brechizuk to everyone.